So this is set up uh, so that it now can take uh, some scores and lives. So we're going to start uh, to add scores and that's an object. So right click in the window, insert object and scroll down and look for score and say OK and then click this somewhere where it's visible. And it's just going to stay there because we're going to update it with some controls. So now we'll go into the event editor and we want a new condition. So when our player um, over, collides with another object and the other object that we want, in this case is uh, one of these flowers, say OK. So now we have to tell it what's going to happen when these two objects collide. And if you go into your joystick icon and right click, there's score and add to score. So in this case, we'll do add 10 to the score. And F7 to play test the level. And for that particular flower, sit when it overlaps, it's adding 10 to the score. And we'll increase it so that we'll um, do this with the uh, same thing with other objects. So we have player collisions with another object, and this is flower two. This time we'll add to the score, we'll go 20. So we'll give this some compounding effects. And we'll do it one more time when our player collides with flower three. We're going to add 50. So now this number should go up pretty quickly. So F7 to play test. So this is it's starting to become a little interesting to, to move around and anticipate where these are going to fall from. And this is going to um, go on until we give it um, a mechanism um, for lives and uh, so that can be taken away and uh, that will allow you to um, work on um, ending the game. So let's save this. For the lives it's the same process. So we're going to insert object and there is an icon for lives say OK and we'll put these over here. And we're going to create uh, two events. So we want to go into our event editor. New condition. So when our player collides with another object and that other object is this uh, pesticide cloud in this case, um, we want to subtract from lives. So lives, subtract number of lives, so we're going to take away one. So let's test this. F7. So we're collecting points. So we're adding up points. And we want to avoid that cloud which is aimed towards us. So we're down to one life. And now we want to have it end the game when it reaches uh, when there are no lives left. So new condition when number of lives reaches zero, so we're going to go into the joystick control. So when the number of lives reaches zero, we want to go into the storyboard controls 
and we want to end the application. We could have it jump to um, a screen, another frame. So it could jump to a previous frame, um, it jumped to a frame so we could tell it which frame to go to and it could go to an end, end screen frame. So we can set that up later on, but let's just test this to see how it works. F7 to play the view. So we're down two, so it overlapped. One more, and it ended the game. So now our scores and our lives are both working, and um, we can go in and add uh, some, some power-ups and some other things to make the gameplay uh, a little more interesting as you continue to play. Now let's take our little beehive and create a power-up. So we'll go back into our event editor. And let's say when the collisions happen um, between uh, flower one, we're going to give it um, some odds that it will uh, create a beehive. So we'll do a, um, x out of y chances. So we want a one in three chance that when there is a collision between the first flower, it will launch an object. So we want to go to our launcher and say launch an object and find the beehive. And we'll do the same. So we'll launch in the direction. Uh, let's uh, actually, let's cancel this. So, um, so we'll launch Use the direction of the launcher. So it's launching from the top. <clears throat> so let's move it down like the other flower. So it's going to come down. And then we'll do another new condition. So this is A collision with the player. So when the player collides with the beehive, we want to add point, add live. So we're going to bring back the live. So add to the number of lives. So let's make it interesting. So when he collides with that, we'll give it five lives. <clears throat> so let's test this. So let's try and get that first flower. So there we go. So the second time, one in three chances. And we're avoiding the we're avoiding the pesticide cloud. There we go. So we miss collect we're collecting it, but it is doing a one in three chance. So this makes it a little bit more interesting to play because we're we're losing lives and we're gaining lives, and we're learning what to collect and what to avoid. It's a little hard to get to it when it's random, so we could
So there we gained our lives again. So now it's making uh, the power-ups give it a little bit more interesting uh, gameplay. And it'll go and it'll it'll um, quit the application when the lives are done. So So that's removing one life at a time, but the power-ups uh, give it five, so that creates an interesting effect um, with a balance for gameplay. So let's let this go. And that makes the game last a little bit longer. It gives more challenges to what you're trying to accomplish. There we go. So it quit out of the game. So that's a power up. 